Hello and welcome to Pink Floyd Sunday series which I started off uh, looking at the uh, Discovery uh, box set of uh, Pink Floyd studio albums and now we're kind of uh, exploring other albums that were not included in that and we're also looking at uh, Pink Floyd on 180 grams vinyl and today we are looking at um, moment relapse of reason it's the 2018 mix i think and then um, it's on double vinyl on 45 uh, pm and it's very very rpm sorry not pm and it is a uh, very very good i really really enjoyed it i enjoyed uh listening to this on the amazon music mix and comparing it to um the uh the normal album which we have over here you get a good look at where i store the albums elvis the beatles black sabbath our maiden bob dylan judas priest and other artists and pink floyd shaken stevens and queen there is a nice poster of the beatles dark side of the moon a 50th anniversary poster and a shaky poster and this is the album this is the original album that's the cd and uh, the cd is okay uh, the album is okay i remember buying it back in the day back in the 80s late 80s and it was very very good i was very impressed with it but it's kind of uh it's not really aged that well this this album but this has this is absolutely fantastic. The remix is amazing. Kind of, um, it covers a lot of the issues uh, on this album and just really, really improves on it. Will I get the CD of this and compare? Probably, more than likely. We like to do um, mad things, get uh, more than one copy of um, the same album a few times over. So uh, why not? Uh, this is the CD in the Discovery box set, and that's what it looks like. And we go to the album now shortly, and this is just a recap. And so I see what they did there. Now they put this cover, middle section of the CD, onto the album, and there's no hand glider in this in the in the cd so i'm wondering what the uh original album will like will i get the original album yeah of course i will e e eventually i will get it so that's the cd booklet that's with the album from the discovery box set and this is a good album but um as i said there's some issues with it and um creative issues shall we say and this one kind of uh, just um, covers, uh, corrects those uh, issues. And it's a fine, fine album. Is it a 10 out of 10 album? No, it's probably a 7 out of 10 album. But it's still a very, very good album. Is it better than the final cut? Oh, of course it is. Way better than the final cut, but not as good as the wall. Uh, I put it to you like that. Is it better than Amuse to Death? um kind of on a uh two different albums i suppose and uh w w roger waters has a kind of a grit to it and a bite to his lyrics and Dave, david gilmore is more mellow at pointing things out where roger has the bite and the snap so we'll have a look we'll take it out the easel This is the vinyl, and the hype sticker was not harmed. I took it off to shrink. I got it a couple of weeks ago, so I've been playing it quite a lot. That's the inside gatefold sleeve. I think this is on the vinyl as well. We take out the second side first. That's what the label looks like. That's what the label looks on side 
side D, sorry, side D, my dyslexic brain trying to make sense of stuff, and that's what the line looks like. And it sounds absolutely fantastic. Very, very happy with it. Hold on. Yeah, you're seeing the big black space there. Nothing wrong with the camera. Just me trying to put the vinyl back into the sleeve with one hand. And that is very, 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 very difficult to do. So that goes in like that. Again, a 7 out of 10 album. It's a very, very good album. And um, a very enjoyable one. And I kind of like listening. Here is the hype sticker. There's the price. Got an HMV in Yeovil. There is the hype sticker. It has not been harmed. 45 RPM. So what I did, uh, I put this onto uh, my turntable and I forgot to turn it on to the 45 p.m. And it was playing away and then I heard David Gilmour singing and then I realized that um, I had to turn it on to the, <laughs> onto the 45. That's that one. And another thing I'd done uh, with my, when I bought uh, the turntable after not having one for over 10 years, um that's the second label i won't take out the vinyl i'll go through, through the booklet but as i as i was uh saying the, i bought the lenko uh ps 300 and i unpacked it i was putting on an lp and uh, there's a nice fuller picture I was putting on the LP and the LP kept skipping away, or sorry, not the LP, the needle kept skipping away and skipping away. I think that's photocopied. Not 100% sure. I, I heard somebody say that was on a YouTube video. So uh, I it kind of looks it. So uh, if you want to let me know that it is, uh, please do so. Uh, but yeah, I'm distracting myself from the story of the turntable. And the turntable, and I was playing and putting the needle onto the record, and I kept skipping through the um, through the vinyl. I was doing this over and over, and then it dawned on me I didn't I didn't take off the cover of the cartridge. <laughs> and then when I took the cover off the cartridge, um, it played away. So. <laughs> So there, there is a, I believe, a turntable that looks like um, the Dogs of War. There is a little bit of anger from Mr. Gilmore in that song. Um, there is a turntable that looks like uh, the logo of uh, the Dark Side of the Moon, and it's by a crowd called uh, Project X, and uh, that's on my wish list. <laughs> we'll see how it happens. How it happens that I. I, I, I feel it in my bones that I know I'm going to get it, so we just see what happens. That looks like a good Jack Vetriano painting. Yeah, let's see, I think it does. There's another variation of the cover. Of the puppies. more stuff. I like these booklets. I kind of, kind of, yeah, that, that one is the one that's photocopied and I still think the one earlier looks photocopied as well, so. It's kind of a nicer booklet than the one that was in the CD earlier. I think there is a couple of videos that come to mind when I see this. Um, uh, Super Furry Animals, they had one, I forget the name of the song, and uh, another band called The Silencers, Wild Mountain Time, only they had uh, the sofa put on top of a car, and they were going through Scotland. Saw The Silencers many years ago in my hometown uh, of Waterford, and they put on a very good gig. More photos and sketches. 
And yeah, that's it. That is Pink Floyd and Momentary Lapse of Reason on um, 45 RMP. I highly, highly recommend it. And um, it's just good to have uh, stuff like this uh, in your collection. St st thank you for all the uh, views, all the comments and subscribing. If you want to buy me a coffee, please do so as it helps go towards getting um, real goodies like this and me giving a, an honest review. Thank you very much and we'll talk to you again in the next video. <coughs>